Hello and welcome back to the Disorderly Dwarves. Our goal this episode is to reach 500 uh, gold. That will then allow us to have our war chest thing done. It gives us the national tax modifier. Fantastic. Wait, is that for us, right? Wait, it says 500 ruling a duchy. We are a duchy. It says king, though. I'm very worried that we're a kingdom. Uh, let's have a we're a petty kingdom. So that's a duchy. Right, so that's fine. And then after we do that, we're going to, uh, well, we're going to buy the Dwarf Hold, and that's going to hopefully give us a lot more men. We'll see how all of that goes. Now, the thing about the Dwarf Hold, uh, which I should point out, is that it does give us a large amount of garrison size. Now, the reason why that's bad is what happens when you increase the uh, levy of garrison size, is it will increase the garrison, so it gives you extra garrison, but then it moves men from the levy into the garrison before it starts refilling the levy. So we are going to temporarily lose a lot of men. But that's fine. We don't care. Are we tunneling currently? Um, We are not tunneling. Oh, we are tunneling. Good. That's what I thought we were doing, but I thought I'd check. Okay. So yeah. Basically, we're going to wait a little bit and then uh, get all of our money. Rumors reach you that the new ruler of Bretonia has succeeded in the Grail Quest. Now rules with the blessing of the Lady of the Lake. Okay, cool. Might be a good time to just have a slow look around the map while we wait for events. So, Sylvania has kind of been definitely stopped here, right? Yes, yeah, Sylvania has been stopped at the edge and has actually been pushed back into. A child lacks a childhood focus. Now, yeah, there was a lot of people talking about this child and how, like, awful he was. Um, basically, I'm not going to get rid of him until we have a backup heir, basically. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was our child sibling, and I'm like, what, we don't have two children? Um, yeah, so if we get another heir, I will quite happily get rid of the first one. However, until we do that, you know. I mean, we do have two people in the line of succession, but the other one's, um, what, our cousin? And we don't really have any control over him, and I'd prefer not that not to be our only option. Uh, like, over here. There we go. There's a backup. Sindri, our, uh, not, not even Sindri. It's our cousin, it's our uh, nephew, who is actually a genius. Wow. He is a genius, so he might be a good choice. Um, probably our best bet is actually just to change succession law at some point to something like seniority. Um, which would probably work. In fact, we have everything ticked already for that, don't we? Um, no, all of the following must be true. We must have the culture group Azure. So, oh no, but one of the following must be true. Wait. Okay, no, I get, I get it. It's just a weird way of saying it. So what it's saying is all of them must be true in that we... One of the two things must be true. We must either be a holder of um, of a thing that is not the culture group Azure. Or if we are the culture group Azure, the title um, cannot be High Kingdom of Ulithon. That's basically just saying the High Kingdom of Ulithon cannot be seniority. But seniority could be a really good one. Can we be Tanist? That'd be really nice. One of the following must be true. Has Conclave disabled? Oh. Well, that, that's kind of a uh, bummer for us. Elective would also be really good, but people get really in, um, annoyed every time I choose elective. What's what's enact? Oh, oh, only women can inherit. Oh, interesting. Um, but no, I think that a we're definitely looking at a seniority one, probably. Um, what is our is our person younger? Uh, he is. Oh, we're gonna have to actually look at dates. 11th of the 8th versus 17th of the 9th. Uh, so no. So that would still put Huringer in front. But yeah, maybe change the succession law. Maybe something. There's some way of doing it. What is our succession law, actually? Currently, Gavelkind. Oh god, we want to change that. We at very least want to be Primogenitor. Um, but we can't be Primogenitor currently. So yeah, I guess seniority is going to be what we end up going with. But that's fine. Uh, I should have had the game unpaused while we looked at that. But that's fine. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, I think we'll switch to... Oh, we never actually gave our child the childhood focus that we we're sitting on. Um, his focus should be... I don't know. A struggle, I think, is the best one if you want him to be martial-based. And I guess that's our only option. And my wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Some prestige. Good. Good. We can use that. Right. I have indisputable proof that my regent, Lord Doran, is embezzling money from me. The traitor. Yeah. Wait, oh, and we lost a lot of money. That's not good at all. 
Um, hopefully we get some tunneling events. Anyway, we're looking around the map really slowly. Uh, this is max scroll speed, by the way. I'm not just scrolling out very slowly. Uh, that's max scroll speed at this speed for me. Light speed of game. Um, so Zarduk is a lot less strong now that we didn't swear uh, fealty to them and give them all of our land. Um, I introduced Gwalan to Lorekeeper something something. I hope they could get along, but apparently they weren't interested. Oh well. Um, right. We've got the Dark Elves are actually starting to be pushed in by, what's this? By other dwarf, Dark Elves. Okay, so there's some uh, splitting of them up there. Uh, you realise that to become a great fighter, we need to get in better shape. There's a great path in the nearby woods to be excellent for running. Let's go running. Cool. Uh, so yeah, nothing major on the map apart from that. Valance seems able to solve all your problems. Life is easier when you can simply smash things into submission. Um... I no longer have the patience to negotiate. Oh, well, that's actually great, because that gives us a lot more marshal. And the marshal uh, means that we should have more men when we come back, actually. While well, searching uh, the tunnels, your men come upon an ancient structure of your kin. They are wary of facing it, fearing ambushes or other threats. Well, of course, we'll go in. Yeah. You enter the unknown uh, building, but don't recognize anything. Kicking open one door, you find the sarcophagus of uh, another dwarf. You just des desecrated a tomb. Oh, curses. Oh, and then there are goblins. Of course we'll jump into the fray. You join the shield wall of the other fighters and soon the night goblins are upon you. Strength and discipline against fury and masses. In the end, they are but goblins. Your group easily takes down a few dozen and the rest run for their lives. In the end, you killed most of them. Uh, okay, so we get some of that prestige back and we're not wounded. Good. Good. Right. Anything else major we need to jump on? We could extort our subjects again. Not really feeling that. Um, there wasn't really a great reason to do it in the first place. And we are gaining money very quickly, actually. Uh, we can't buy... I was thinking, could we buy a, a building? No, no, we can't actually buy a building because we're still saving up the money. We have another son. Story, he is right. Okay, cool. So we have a backup. Um, well, we have a we have a main. Let's see what we want to do. We want to get rid of Hunger in any way possible. We plot to kill. Yeah, but we don't have a lot of percentage. We don't want to click on that because I have no idea what that does. Um, yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll wait. We'll, we'll wait, we'll figure out a way to get rid of him later. Getting rid of a child, I seem to remember, is very difficult. But getting rid of an adult is very easy. So we'll just keep uh, waiting on that one. But we have a backup. And also we need to wait to make sure that story actually, you know, grows up. If he doesn't, that'll be a big problem. Okay, we're almost at the amount that we need in terms of money. Another tunneling event that goes well would be very nice right about now. Anything else going on? Oh, Sylvania has pushed back on here. They've uh, re-sieged this bit of land. Or unsieged it. Okay, opening the wall. Let's go. As you delve into the tunnel, you see new ore deposits. Great. Are we going to get a stewardship? We did not, but we fulfilled the ambition to build a war chest. Okay, uh, we are now going to come back from tunneling. Uh, yes. Right, we need to pick a new ambition. Our new ambition is going to be... Um, probably not peace. Win a war would be fine. Uh, I think this one, though. Become king of Stinkhole Great Horde. Which is really just become king of this area. It seems fine. Um, that lets us use different cast of spelly once, I think, right? Um, if Fabricate Claims mission is available, may acquire a claim on the whole horde. There are, if, uh, what else? There's a reduced cost for creating a horde if it does not exist. Uh, if Pagan allows you on the limited use of subjug subjugation, it casts a spell, which we don't have. But that's fine. Uh, we don't need to worry, that's just our ambition now. Um, so now we've got the extra tax, I think it's time to build the dwarf hold. There we go. So we lose some men temporarily. We lose 75, but we gain 15%. So it'll kind of even out to be about, you know... Wait, I didn't say we'd lose men. Like if I click here... Oh, the dwarf hold loses us men, but the upgrade does not. Oh, well that's great then. That's fine, I don't even need to worry about it. Regency has ended. We can now imprison the person who was our regent, because we know he's a traitor. And he has money, so that might be a good idea. Where is his holding? His holding is down there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise up all of our men. 
The nigga goes to and on his holding. We're gonna imprison him. The imprisonment's gonna fail. He's gonna declare a rebellion. We're then going to beat up his rebellion. We're going to imprison him. We're gonna exile him for his money. And everything will be fantastic. And that's the current plan. We'll see how that goes. Um, I hope that everything is fantastic part, especially, does very well. But we'll see. Right. Um, also, we are like strong enough that we can fight off some of these guys, right? Not really. Okay. So the fact that the war starts may trigger an orc to attack us. Which would be a problem. Uh, but we'll just need to hope that we're fine, basically. And maybe us having the men together at the start will allow us to win against an orc. Who doesn't? We'll see. Also, they're in our, their other war against the uh, lizard man, of course. Yes, uh, right. Uh, we are going to imprison this guy. Let's do that. Oh no, he raised his flag in rebellion. What a amazing surprise. Um, now we just sit in siege for a while. We need a new chancellor. New chancellor is going to be our court physician, I think. Uh, yep, he wants to be chancellor so we can have it. Uh, and then we're going to get him to improve relations with, uh, I think it's this one? Yeah. Okay, cool. And now we just siege. And sieging shouldn't take that long. Um, ideally we should have let his men, maybe let his men rise up. But I mean it is mountains, so we don't really want to do that at all. Uh, okay, we get to invest in a center one. Now which, what do we need for building? The Royal Clan Halls, which is going to be a very good one. Uh, castle Infrastructure 3, and we have to be a Mason. We can work on being a Mason, but Castle Infrastructure 3 is one that we need. Okay, cool. Also gives us a little extra Castle Tech, which is nice. So that now means that for this one, it's not Tech that's stopping us, it's the fact that we're not a Mason and we don't have the money. So that's fine. Uh, can we try and become a Mason now? Uh, what, learn Masonry, what do we need? Oh, we need to be, uh, do not have wrath. And be diligent, envious, ambitious. Okay. That's fine. So we need some different traits. We can work on that. We can work on that. We just get a negative siege event. We actually did just get a negative siege event. I saw the red disappear from down there. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. So it's going to take a little bit longer. I mean, you can get rid of siege events altogether if you take off all the army leaders. But then you don't get any good ones. And it evens out to the same anyway in, in the end. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I thought I'd just put that in because some people like to point that out, but it doesn't matter at all. Uh, if we were at peace, could we do primogenitor? No. Uh, no, we couldn't because we're not a vice royalty. Uh, seniority? We could do. Yeah. Uh, elective gavelkind? We, what, why the hell would we want elective gavelkind? Um, elective we can do, but people don't like it. Uh, ultimogenitor? We cannot do either. Okay, so basically it has to be seniority if we want to get rid of Gavelkind, and we do want to get rid of Gavelkind. Wait, uh, who's our heir? Yeah, that is that is the right one. Oh no, I was getting confused there. I was looking at, the reason I was getting confused is I saw this around it. I'm like, wait, uh, he's landed. He must be our heir. Why is he third in line? Our heir isn't landed. That's, that's where the problems come in. I'm an idiot. That's fine. Ooh, ooh, I'm there. The dwarves fell apart. Ooh. Interesting. Unfortunately, the strongest dwarf, not dwarf, uh, the orcs fell apart. The strongest orc is still next to us, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, just got to kind of wait for it. Oh, we got another commander slot open as well, because we actually just, yeah, we're at war with the other commander. Uh, do we have any good commanders? I and mean, you're, you're not bad for a dwarf. Yeah, I guess we'll take you. Okay, cool. Continue sieging. Uh, now, do we have any extra retinue size? That we can actually get. We can almost get a retinue, which is nice. Uh, that only uses 300. Um, don't really want to do that just now, but like 300 men isn't quite large enough for a retinue, but it's, it's an interesting idea for the future. Oh, good, some money. Nice. By the time we finish this war, we're almost finished our uh, like our dwarf uh, hold as well. Should give us more men. Be great. Uh, anything else we need to be worrying about? Not really. More just concentrate on the siege. 1.6%, I gotta say, is a very slow siege. Oh, okay. Um, is it the manlings who kept the orcs at bay? Are the elflings famous for their engineering? No, it is the dwarves, and only dwarves who can do that. 
and we should be proud of it. Um, okay. Masonry requires us to be diligent, envious, ambitious. We are not any of those from this one. So we just got to basically choose between prestige and honor. Eh, we'll take the honor. There we go. Did we become humble? Nope. Okay. That's fine. I didn't think we would, but it was worth checking out. All right. Um, we could go tunneling again, I suppose. I mean, there's nothing really keeping us here. Oh, my wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Well, let's go tunneling again. Yeah, it is the right time. I mean, there's no reason not to go tunneling, like, right now. There's nothing that we're really doing that needs us to be here. We're just teaching. As you replace your training dummy with a real person, you find that facing intelligent enemies is a lot harder and also more rewarding. Um, and we get one personal combat skill. Cool. That's, uh, what's a personal combat? It's now three. That's, that's getting reasonable levels. Okay. Um, having spent countless hours swinging your sword, it's clear your technique is getting better. You know the essence of every possible strike to utilize in a fight. We get more martial and more personal combat skill. Fantastic. Personal combat is actually getting up there quite a lot. Okay. Uh, let, uh, while searching the tunnels, you come upon ancient structure. Let's see what's in it. Oh no! It was uh, one of our t uh, dwarf tombs. And then a horde of night goblins. We'll join the shield wall. We beat up the goblins and... Did we get wounded? No. Cool. Um, I think we know how those events mostly go now. I don't think there's much to surprise us from uh, those anymore. Okay. Uh, getting a few more men. Oh, it looks like this land here actually became bigger. This, uh, uh, this orc land. Because they absorbed some of the clans that got um, like broken off from this one. Okay, interesting. Uh, still, gate like the siege is going fine. It'll take like another 30 months, but... Well, not 30 months. Uh, like another 10 months, but that's fine. We don't need to worry about it. We don't need to worry about it at all. Any tunneling events? Nope. Anything going on in the world? Sylvania's kind of stopped. Are they even at war with anyone? Uh, the Sylvanian Imperial Reconquest of Reichdahl. So, is that this one? No. A daughter was born for us, named Ulla. Huh. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, we might want to use her to get an alliance with these guys, if we can. Can we get a betrothal? Uh, that's a princess as well. We can actually marry one of our, prin uh, our princes over, if we wanted to. And then that would allow us to possibly get an alliance with characters. Characters Arix, or whatever his name is. Um, now, people were saying we could also uh, swear fealty to him. I really don't want to do that again, because we just did it, but it is an option. I think we'll just be peaceful with them if we can. Um, Alright, that's our mother in Wait, our mother-in-law? So, our wife is already part of their family? Yeah, okay. So, we could get an alliance if we a non-aggression if he's interested. Yeah, cool. We don't even need to get another marriage to intertwine us. Uh, dark lightning clouds of unnatural color constantly hover over the northern horizon, and the winds often carry laughter and cries of demons. Dark dreams, winds of chaos are truly dangerous. Oh well. Um, we An unknown opening in the wall. Of course we'll go in. New ore deposits. Perfect. We're going to get more... Uh... Oh, we got more stewardship. I am pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the uh, county of Kurig's Grunen is doing very well. People are happy and tax collectors are reporting record income. Oh, good. It's going to get extra money. We now have a non-aggression pact with the High King. Uh, form alliance? He is in a war, right? Against... He's in a grudge war against the Axe Bringers. Uh, do we want to form an alliance now? I mean, we could, yeah. But non-aggression pact is good enough for us at this exact second. I mean, we do want his protection, though, against the other orcs. So, I guess... Yeah, I guess we form the alliance. I was thinking we don't want to form it because we don't want to be in a war. But if we have the alliance, then we have the protection anyway, and we don't care about being in the war. Cool, extra men. What's our max now? Our max is... Probably not that number because we're away on it. Yeah, because we're away currently. But we could get some retinue if we wanted to. Uh, can we upgrade this any further? Uh, not right now, but soon. What's the dwarf hold? When, as in, uh, when can we upgrade that further? Castle, castle infrastructure level 4. So, a little bit off. Okay. 
we are now in an alliance. We could call them in if we wanted to. We're not going to. Because uh, this would be a stupid war to call him in on and have him say no for some reason. Because he's already in a war, I assume he'd say no. Uh, we got another 12 ticks going here. So that's another 100 days. So, quite a while. But hopefully, we'll eventually get this done. Uh, and then we can change succession law and everything will be happy. Hopefully. Anyway, uh, this seems like a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.